Good morning and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you how you can group your emails into conversations. Why do you want to do that? Well, first, because you do not want to look at two different folders every time you want to follow up a conversation or a trail of emails that you have with a client, with another person, right? First, let me tell you that I'm completing this tutorial in the latest and greatest outlook there is. So this is the uh, July 2023, and this is the newest version of Outlook. Uh, I'm using the Outlook client, which is the Outlook, the application that you install on your computer. But it's the same rule, the same thing applied to Outlook online. It's exactly the same. So how do you group your emails into conversations? Very easy. Select here, view on the top bar, select view, select messages, and then group into conversations. And all the emails that are sitting in your inbox and your send items uh, folder will be viewable here in one place. So, but you will need to expand it, of course. Now, after I selected group into conversations, all the emails are now grouped into conversations. However, in order to see them, you will need to expand this little arrow here. And as you can see, all the emails that you have sent and received about the same subject, uh, they're grouped together. Now, one other thing that I need you to take into consideration is, uh, I'm just going to unexpand this one. You see here, there is an attachment. It means that in this conversation, there are attachment. There might be one, maybe one, two or three, or there may be more. But now uh, I'm going to expand it again and show you that in this particular conversation, there's only one attachment. As you can see here, the little icon for the attachment. Now, if you're going to forward this attachment to somebody else, you will need to select the attach the emails that contains the attachment. Otherwise, you will not be able to do it. So you select that email, right click, and then forward. And then when you forward, you will see that the attachment is sitting right there. However, if you attempt to do this from an email that doesn't have the attachment, I'm gonna try it, I'm just gonna go forward, the attachment is not going to show because that email does not contain the attachment. All right. So as a little, um, I'm just going to also uh, tell you a little bit about uh, in this view mode, you also have density. What does that mean? Um, I will show you. When you select in the density, you select the roomy, which is the way I have, and I, ch and I change it to cozy. Look how it compacted. It just got a little bit, it shrink a little bit. But if I want a more shrinkable, like if I want to shrink it a little bit more, because I have many folders here on the left side, you'll see that you can select compact and it's even more compacted, right? Uh, especially for you who have a lot of emails um, and the screen is small or something, right? So this is how you do it. Um, that's the end of it. And I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you for watching and have yourself a great day. Thank you.